Hi, my name is John Lawton. I'm with MachinesUse.com. Today I am going to show you how to find the proper hour meter in a Haas control with the cold fire processor. First, let's look at this Haas control. It has the large color screen. It has the USB port right here. Those two things together should tell you that it has got the cold fire processor or called the Haas with cold fire. Usually those machines are from about 2007 up to about 2016. We're going to show you how to find the hour meter to say what the hour meter says in this Haas. This is what you don't want to do. If I click in this display and go to current commands, I get this timers and setup, operation timers and setup. People send me this saying, hey, this is what it's got for hours. That is not what it has for hours. I'll show you why. Zoom in there. You zoomed in enough to see it. It says zero, the highlighted entry. So I could go through any of those entries and zero them. It's not worth looking there. Those are usually incorrect because they've been zeroed a number of times. So what we're going to do is go and find the hours that are in the debug mode. To get into the debug mode takes a few steps. But once you're there, you get an hour meter reading that is only changed if the machine has a full software reload, because then it would erase them when it puts the new software in. So let's take a look at the Haas control. If you look in the center portion, there's a display, a set of display keys. In this display keys is a setting graph key, an alarm message key, and a position key. Those are the three keys in the display that we will be utilizing. If you scroll down here with the camera, you will see we have the letter keys and the number keys. The letters and the numbers. And over here, this bottom right, an important key, the right or enter key. One other area we will be using is in the very center. It says cursor. These little arrows and these little arrows can cursor things around in the control and I'll show you how that works. So the first thing we would do is we want to go into the setting graph mode in the display right there. I'm going to hit it. We're in the setting graph. Now it came right to parameter lock because the reason we went in there is to turn the parameter lock off. Let's just say it came in and it was like this. We want to get to the, we're still in this setting graph. I'm toggling it to other places so that it could come in. You're, you're not necessarily going to land, luckily enough, on the parameter lock. I did because I was playing in there before we started filming. But we come up to this and we want to get to the parameter lock. That is line seven. So the parameter lock is on line seven. So I want to go to line seven. I go to the number. I'm in the setting graph. I hit seven. And then I want to go down to line seven. So I hit the down arrow, boom. I'm on line seven, seven parameter lock. It says the parameter lock is on. I want to turn it off. I go back to these toggle keys we talked about, these error toggles, arrow toggles. I hit it, it says off. I hit it again, it says on. Hit it, it says off. But that off is blinking, so it's not completed. It's going to be turned off, but I got to complete it. So I go all the way to the down right, where it says right enter, said it was an important key. Wow, now it says off, and it says off in black permanent. So the parameter lock on line seven is off. We can now leave the setting graph to go to the alarm messages button. We can hit the alarm messages button, and that's where we are. There's a thing here that says input. What we're going to do is go into the debug mode. So we go into the alarm messages. At the input, we type debug. D E B U G. Not done. Got to go to the bottom. Right. Enter. When we did that, the debug disappeared down here, and we saw this N N N N N N up here. Now I know I am in the debug mode because of that. So we've gone from the setting graph to the alarm messages. Now we're going to go to the position in the display. Remember those are the only three buttons I said you use there. Position. Okay, we're at the position, but it's all blue. We are lucky we landed, but once again, I was there to begin with. 
we want to get into the into the variables, into the position thing. So we have to sit, see there's an F1, F2, F3, and F4 here. Hit F2. It lights it up. Let's say you had landed on IO or data store. See how these are the red, where it's red up here on these upper tabs? We are on the position page in, this is lighted up. We want to get to the upper tab that says VAR for variables. Once we're on that tab, we hit back again, the enter key, and we're in there. And now notice that it's red down here. So now we're down on these lower tabs. So we're in the variables. Within the variables are these tabs. We want raw data. So once again, it was position page, F2 to get there, get into the variables tab. This is highlighted. Now when it's red down here, we do that same thing, that toggle key, see? Left, right, I'm gonna hit it again. There I am, raw data, that's red night now. If I hit enter, it'll go into the raw data. So once again, it was position, F2, into the variables, at the raw data, hit the enter key, and there are your hours. So the hours are 6,160 servo on time hours. That's turned on the servos on. Motion hours, 1,752. And the one that everybody seems to care about, spindle time, 1,846 spindle hours. That's where you find it, and that's how you find it. But we are still in the debug mode, and we still have the parameter lock off. We want to get out of the debug mode, turn the parameter lock back on. By doing so, we go to the alarm messages page. We are at the alarm messages page, which I did by hitting the alarm messages button. And we note that up at the top, it still has that row of ends, which means we're still in the debug mode. Down here in the input, the cursor's blinking. I'm in the right spot. I'm just going to type debug over again. So I'm going to go D, E, B, U, G, right there. Not done. Still got the ends. Still got the debug here. I'm going to go way down and I'm going to hit enter. Nothing in the input anymore. So it took that enter and the ends are gone. I am no longer in the debug mode. Now I'll turn the parameter lock back on. We want to go back to our setting graph area right there, that setting graph button. So I hit that. We're back in that. It's going to take us right to where we left off from that which was on line seven with the parameter lock and we had it turned off. We want to toggle it back to N and the toggles are at the cursors in the middle of the page. Here's the toggles. I'm going to hit the toggle and it says on. If I hit it again, it's going to say off. It's off solid because we're still in off. Even if I hit it and it says on, it's blinking. We're not done. We just have it there. It's going to be on, but we haven't finished. We have to go back to the trusty bottom right button, the enter button, press that. Then we can look all the way back up. Line seven, parameter lock on, solid black. We've done our duty. The parameter lock is back on. We're not in debug and they're ready to go. Thank you very much.